When we get up in the morning Along with coffee, toast and cake If you like the old stone road You like to wake and bake Now let's join Greg Reed and Griff Martin As we head out on the road So sit right back Buckle right in It's the Wake and Bake Morning Show It's the Wake and Bake Morning Show It's the Wake and Bake Morning Show Good morning Podcast number 157 The Stone Brody Show Action Alrighty then, looky here, looky here, it's Friday morning, and it's the Wake and Bake Morning Buzz number 40, and looky here, looky here, I see y'all out there today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to, we got, Griff wants to call Gene Odom on the phone here, so uh, before it gets too late, we'll just move move right over to to G, to the phone call to to Gene Odom and while he gets him on the phone we want to uh, give a little sorrow to the death of uh to the death of um Dickie Betts Dickie Betts yesterday yeah he was a little older than i thought he was yeah wasn't. 80 years old he was 80 years old he lived he lived a long time for all the stuff that they went through, man. Then one of them got them guys did a little bl- lot of blow back in the old Allman Brother days. I know that for <laughs> a fact. Like, jeez. Uh, so, you just called me. No, did I? <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, let me call let me call the other plane crash survivor. <laughs> and I didn't even smoke any weed, Craig. <laughs> hey. hey, can you hear me, Gene? I, I know it's early, man. It's early. I'm waking you up here. So I gotta I gotta ask you a question real quick and before you uh go off and get your coffee. I'm fixing to go to sleep here. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, um, no. First off, you know, Dicky Betts uh, passed away. I just want to get a comment from you. We're on the podcast live. Uh, you're on the podcast live now. Yeah, yeah. I know you got a cold, and you and you and there's snot running out of your nose faster than you can eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. No doubt about that. But yeah, um. I, I like Dickie. Dickie was a, a true Southern rocker, and he was a legend long before he passed away. And uh, he was a between me and you. Dickie Betts was the Allman Brothers band. After um, uh, Dwayne died, Dickie Betts was the Allman Brothers. And then you know, in about nineteen seventy seven. When he left the uh, Allman Brothers band, started the, the Dickie Betts of Great Southern, he opened up a couple of shows for Skinner, um, big big stadium shows, and uh, he was a good guy. I like Dickie, you know. He yeah, was a, he was a he was one of a kind. I know you guys had that one little altercation when he was a little drunk in the bar and was slinging the belt around, and but you guys straightened that out and everything was cool. Yeah, that's what liquor and drugs do to you. But oh yeah, we got that straightened out. And the next day, you know, or, or the day after that, we we got that straightened out. Me and Dickie talked, and yeah. I told him what went down and how it went down. And when he sobered up in the cell, he uh, he thought Gene Odom had done all that. But I went straight to him, man to man. We talked, and he was he was square. We we talked it out, and he agreed. He said, "Yeah, damn, I need to stop drinking." And I think he did after that for years and years and years. Yeah. You know? Well, he lived to a ripe old 80 years old for all the stuff he went through. So, yeah, 80 years old. You know, I know a lot of people that like to live half of that. Yeah. yeah. Then I got another question for you. Somebody uh, on the comments uh, that uh, wrote into the podcast had mentioned that, and they said, and I'm going to get it right from the horse's mouth, that um, they wondered what happened to Ronnie's bass that he caught in late 
Delancey, and uh, they said, and and this is where they got to watch out because I'll call up Gene Odom and ask him. They said that Gene Odom, they that somebody got that bass from Gene Odom, and they have it now. Is that true? No. The last I heard is that Judy let Melody have it. The last I heard that Melody has his best. There you go. See, when you go right to the horse's mouth, you get all that straightened out. You know? Yeah, that was that was the last story I got. I mean, for years and years, when she moved to a couple of houses, she actually kept it underneath the stairwell. And then she moved from that house there, there at uh, uh, Green Coast Springs uh, to um, – Fleming Island, and then she went from Fleming Island out to the beach. But uh, that's the last I heard because I asked, uh, and it, uh, I'm pretty sure Melody has it. And then they said also that it was caught on five three seventy seven. Is that true, or do you know that to be, or you even know? Uh, Jamie Ferrymore, that's probably pretty close. I don't believe it has the original name tag on it uh because i've seen a picture of it i think it was around may yeah because he had just he had got the truck i think he had got the truck right before we went fishing but may's about right and uh he got the bass back only a couple of weeks before he died oh okay so he did get the bass back and there i think there was a picture of it on the wall over his mantle yeah, he uh, yeah. he was looking at he was TV. I think he was looking at a D uh, uh, a Betamax of uh, Cassius Clay fighting. Yeah, and there's a picture of the bass over his. Yeah, he, he got it. He got it back. He got his old truck and he got that old bass right before he died. And how much did that one. bass weigh, Gene? Eleven pound eight ounces. Eleven pound eight ounces. And what did he what did he catch it on? A worm. A purple worm. He used purple and I used black. Oh, it, back then was a Jim Bagley's old monster worm. And did did you catch it out of a out of a bad company, the boat, or was it a John boat? John boat. John boat. And it was raining, wasn't it? And it cleared up. Yep, it was raining and cleared up. You know, sure enough. All right, Gene. Well, that's all I got. And I'll let you uh, go do your thing, man. I appreciate you answering the phone and straightening that out. See, a lot of people don't realize sometimes we'll find out the real deal. <laughs> I am the real deal. Yeah. What's left of you, right? Well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, well don't, don't, don't drink Robitussin and, and that Seven Spices barbecue again. That burn your esophagus. No. Uh, they're going to do a, um, uh, I'm getting this, I'm getting a CT scan on the second or third. And then right before that, they're going to do a, uh, endoscopy to look down in inside. If, if this bug is going to hope this bug don't stop anything, they're going to do yeah. this. Craig, don't you have some more money for Gene? that, that, yeah, the, yeah, I got, yeah, I don't, I don't know, have an exact total right now, but yes, I do. Yeah, I'm on yeah. the money he to he's, yeah. up. he's got smoke in his ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gene, I'll let you go, man. All right. All right. Hey, tell, if, if, if Craig here, tell Craig I said, hey. Okay. Hey, he's Gene. hearing you. Hey. All right. Buddy. He said hi. Bye. All right. Later. Bye bye. No, uh, there you go. Uh, that's the answer to all those questions. So we'll just skip that question. We'll go through the comments. So, uh, Craig, what, uh, you want to talk about the, uh, the giveaway, huh? We got that giveaway today. Yeah. Yeah. We can, we can talk about that. Yeah. Looky here. Looky here. You got all, you got your, got a jar full of entries here and we're gonna, we're gonna make you wait and watch the rest of this podcast and, you know, anticipation we're making you wait but you're in there somewhere and uh yeah we're gonna have, we'll draw a name out of there and we're gonna and oh here's yeah, here a little bit and, and uh and we did go over all the things the uh, last podcast that were that uh were given away and then we're gonna add this to it which is the uh, sticker of the hell house and gene odom signed it and craig reed signed it so says thanks gene odom and then craig reed right there and and um 
I'll sign it too, being how I painted it and just in case, but yeah, so that's, uh, something else that Craig gives me the address of the winner. And that's a pretty good little package, wouldn't you say, Craig? Yeah, 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 it sure is, you know. And you got an announcement about something in the future, don't you? Yeah, yeah, well, we'll talk about that right here at uh, when we uh, do when the, we the do drawing. drawing. Everybody's really anxious for this one. I had people, people uh, after we did the last podcast, and because we cut off the the date to, to ask to be in the drawing. And then that last, that last podcast, we, we opened it up to put some more people on there. So yeah, we're up, we're up to exactly 100 and move my microphone closer. 130. Now we got, uh, numbers in that, in the jar there. And, uh, yeah, we had, we had a few people that I, I, I doubled their number up and they were honest enough to, to write to me and say I doubled up their numbers, so yeah, so I filled in those, filled in those numbers, and uh, yeah, we're we're good to go. So somewhere but, in that jar is a winner. Yeah, yeah, there sure is <laughs> somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah, and I got another uh, little announcement to make uh, that um, I don't know if you guys remember Latrell Matter. Um, He's a guy, if you go back on the podcast and he's the one who found, uh, Craig's luggage, uh, ID card on that was on his, uh, his, uh, suitcase that, uh, he found it out there at the crash site. Well, he is going to donate a poker chip and we're going to auction that thing off on the, uh, on the podcast. And, uh, I think the last time I heard a, a poker chip that was in the plane crash, went for $6,400 or something like that. And, uh, so we're going to, we're going to see how much money we can get for that thing. Uh, sometime in the future, it's a white poker chip. We appreciate that Latrell matter. And I'll see if I can put a picture of that up here. Um, uh, so, uh, other than that, we can go ahead and go through all the comments and, <laughs> Yeah, there in my backdrops, one of the million dollar bills that we're giving away today with the <clears throat> with the drawing. Those are pretty cool, and we give them. We get two. You get two of those. One we get the front and the back. So if you care to to put them in a frame, you it, it shows the front and the back all at once, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. Oh yeah, yeah and show that whiskey bottle. Something Craig and I didn't know about the. Uh, the uh, Hell House whiskey that uh, Mitch Scooby told us about, that uh, when you drink all the whiskey out of there, look what you see. Yeah, there's a picture of the band in the... In yeah, the, a picture of the band in there. Ain't that cool? Yeah, and it's signed there, Leonard Skinner, yeah. And, and I didn't even know that. That's And I told Craig about that, and he's like, really? And he went and looked, and sure enough... There was a picture of the band in there. So you guys go yeah. out and get your hell house whiskey and, and then you can get that picture too. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. It says Leonard Skinner, 1974. And it's got picture of Artemis and yeah. Artemis was with the band right at the end of 74. So yeah. Yeah. Something cool. I oh, didn't yeah. know. So, all right, Craig, let's jump into these comments. No further ado. And then we'll get to that oh. drawing and. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And before we forget about it, uh, last, last week I said there was a Saturday night special last week with me and Kathy Godsey, and, and uh, I kind of got that one wrong. That That's that's going to be this Saturday, so that's that's going to be tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Tomorrow. It's going to be a Saturday night special. Yeah, the uh, lovely me Kathy, Kathy Godsey. Godsey. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you guys make sure you stay tuned for that. That's going to be uh, always always a good time. Okay, let's jump right into these questions here. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, this guy says here. A lot of times I can't tell who's asking because it's like an email or it's some kind of a weird name. But if you put your name on there, I'll I'll mention it. Um, Great show. Love the content. I'm number 82. Who's number 82, Craig? Oh, let me see here. Oh, 82. Uh, Lynn Jacobs Kumi. Lynn Jacobs Kumi asks a question. Says, 
if I don't win, I would like Griff to sell me a copy of the Hell House painting. Well, I could do that. Um, but I tell you what, keep an eye on the uh, supportsurvivors.net um, page because I'm going to, um, I've got Anna Ethington. Uh, she's running that page now and she's doing a fine job. And I'm going to be uh, taking some pictures and we're going to have a little e commerce store that we're going to, um, put there so keep an eye on that there's going to be all kinds of stuff on there stickers and things like that and and proceeds will go to the survivors so so that'll be cool and thank you very much um for that then we already went over the second question which was uh tay p uh who um not to be confused with tp who uh asked the question about or was was informing us about the bass information so uh yeah, some of that was right and some of that was wrong. So um, as far as the bass goes. And then uh, we got another question here. Did Allen's Explorer go out of tune a lot, Craig? No. Uh -uh. No? No. Well, what, did any of them, like uh, in particular, have a problem with staying He in probably tune? asked that because it had a tremolo bar on it, but no, it stayed in tune. That was a that was a German thing, and it, yeah, that thing stayed in in tune pretty well, you know, for a, for an old tremolo bar like that. Yeah, yeah. It stayed, yeah, it was a good one. Did Alan break strings quite a bit? No, huh? We changed them yeah. every day. Yeah, he yeah. used 10, 10, 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, and forty six. So they were. A heavier gauge yeah but on the stratocaster he used 9 11 13 16 26 36 uh, 20 26 32 42 yeah that's what he used was there any guitar that was easier to tune than, than any of the other ones or, or are they all nah, they're, about, they're all the same you know they were, yeah was yeah and was alan like uh partial to any guitars I, you know i know he used different guitars for different things but um, was there one that he kind of like told you, Craig, keep an eye on that guitar right there. I don't want anything to happen to it, anything like that. <laughs> that, that 50, he really liked that 55 tobacco sunburst reissue that he played. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. That, yeah. He liked that one a lot, but you know, he was partial to the Explorer just cause that was an Explorer, you know? You know, those yeah. So, weird. so you gearheads, you know, if you, you gearheads got any question, you know, just put them in the comments and Craig, you know, as you see, he don't hesitate on any of those questions. He's got that down pretty good. So yeah, but that, you know, that one guy says that I, you know, you know, more, I know I, that you're smarter than me, but I know, you know, more than me or whatever. And no, I'm smarter what, what? than you, but <laughs> but we but but we neither one of us know what the hell we're talking well, about. <laughs> yeah, but one, well, I can guarantee one thing: since I was there for everything that happened, you know, the one thing I can guarantee for sure: I forgot more than he ever thinks he knows. That's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah. So there. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot that you. Ever, I forgot more than you'll ever know, dude. But, That's but, the truth. <laughs> but that guy, he, he's a good guy, Craig. He really is. He's just playing around. He's a good oh, guy. Oh, I know. I'm just messing yeah, with Yeah, he's a good guy. Okay, let me see. Somebody says, get your subscriptions up by sharing on other platforms. You know, Craig and I are about beat down like dogs when it comes. We don't feel like doing shit after this, man. Man. We're tired, you know. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking, I retired 17 years ago. I haven't done nothing for 17 years. You know, I worked for the union a little bit just because I wanted to. And, you know, I, I had it I had it made up there, man. All those guys knew me and, you know, they, they didn't, I didn't do a whole, whole lot, you know, and I just put in some time and I, you know, I only did it because I, you know, every everybody that played up at Blossom, I knew every act that come in and I'd always know somebody, you know, and. And, uh, you know, I, I had, yeah, I had, I had a good time all day long. Most of the time I went up to the bus with the crew guys and stuff, you know, I tell the guy, Hey, you know, tell me, tell him you got, got something for me to do both by the bus, you know, <laughs> and, you know, but, uh, yeah, but then, but then all of a sudden, you know, I got on fake book and people were wanting me found out who I was and stuff and wanted me to write a book. I said, man, I don't want to write no damn book, you know? And then. 
I, and then some guy wanted me to do a podcast. I said, yeah, I'll do a couple of podcasts. And then he fizzled out. And then me and Griff did it. And I said, yeah, we'll do a few of them. And 150, 100, 160 <laughs> podcasts later, here we go. And we're, we're doing giveaways. And I'm, God, man, I don't have time to do anything of my own. I have, yeah. <laughs> So Sharon, Sharon, I, I was just like, it's like I started a new career 15 years after I retired, you know? <laughs> but it's keeping, it's keeping us moving, you know, we yeah, it's, go. keep, it's yeah. keeping me sharp as you can tell, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we are open to suggestions for getting our subscriptions up, but will we do what you ask? I don't know. Maybe you could do it for us. Yeah. Sure share our podcast for us and that's your that'll be your assignment Wait, this this thing started out for a facebook thing you know to appease those people on facebook yeah. and then we had to do it to, to do it properly we had to do it to go through youtube we said well hell we might as well just put it up on youtube too and and here we are you know and uh but yeah, it's 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 kind of it's fun. I, I I enjoy doing them. It's you know a lot of you know. Yeah, there are tricks yeah. to getting your subscriptions <laughs> up, and 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 that guy is right. We don't know what the hell we're doing when it comes <laughs> to that for sure, because uh, you know, we're definitely not expert YouTubers, and uh, we do look for suggestions or help. If anybody wants to help us out sharing our uh, platform, you know, and, and seeing it because all that, you know, does is help the survivors out. So, yeah. And, you know, help it's helping the survivors really put this in, into another whole aspect with me, you know, be, you know, me being a survivor, but you know, I didn't get hurt that bad. I just got some, you know, some of that brain damage, you know, <laughs> but you know, but, uh, yeah, helping the survivors out that, you know, it makes it fun for me, you know, yeah. and then, then they put that memorial down there and they got my name in print on granite, you know, it kind of makes me feel pretty special, you know, and then, then I gave myself the title of the world's most famous roadie ever. And then people are disputing that. So I, I added alive on there. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, now you added the world's most famous stone roadie, and I, I don't think we can anybody can dispute that because I am the stone roadie, you know. <laughs> so whatever, I don't me no give them shit. I don't care. Whatever. Now we all we all have something <laughs> to shoot for. We all have to see if we can outlive Dicky Bats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. He lit a they lit a rough rough life lot a little rough life in their early days. I can, well, you know what though, I Craig, he he wasn't fat. No, no, he wasn't fat. No, so that might be that might be why. You know, that's a okay. Moving to the next question, We're moving right along, so we can get to that drawing. You know, I know you guys are on the edge of your <laughs> anticipation. <laughs> Craig, did you ever me. party with Keith Richards? Speaking of of people that that are still alive, <laughs> no, no, never did. Uh, -uh. No, well, never. I, I can't. You know what? <clears throat> Mick Jagger came into the um, dress uh, the the trailer there, and I yeah, I think he came in. I, I you know I there was God there was you know I you know I, I I yeah he came in with he came in after after Mick did I believe you know God there was so many people in there that day I can't I can't remember everybody yeah, Craig Craig know. might have taken that a was hit one of those Forrest him. Gump moments you know yeah <laughs> it's still a little foggy yeah. Uh, then, uh, someone asked, do you think Alan's road to self-destruction happened after Kathy died? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Yep. No yeah, doubt about uh, it. Uh, and you spent quite a bit of time with you. I mean, you knew Kathy pretty well, right? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. God, I knew and Kathy she well. probably wasn't anything like you know, she was probably a nice meek woman. She was real. Party yeah. Much. Kathy was real nice. She was real cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Her and my, my first wife and Chad and Amy, you know, we lived only a half, you know, maybe not even a half mile apart. When I lived at Cedar Cove, he just lived right across the 
right across brand blanding there it was you know probably just a, not even a half mile so yeah well, they, if you think about they, it craig they i mean hung he did when we were on the road he didn't just lose his wife he lost the child too so i mean yeah, that, yeah. you know and then the plane crash and you know, and then, you know, all of his friends that died in the plane crash. I mean, and people wonder why Alan was in self-destruct mode. Well, there you go. I mean, you know, the guy been through hell. So, you know, um, maybe, maybe, uh, some of us would have been the same well, way. He always had that crazy streak in him, man. I mean, you know, even when he, uh, even even before that you know i mean when he had the he got that that black black lincoln continental and and he you know he was pretty crazy in that thing and then you know like we said before you know gary got that uh uh uh, uh, uh that honda 400 and, and alan had to get something faster so he got that 500 three-cylinder kawasaki those things were nuts you know oh yeah yeah. yeah, I had one of those things, man. That's a, and then I remember Joe Crimp, and he said that he and uh, Gary were were talking. Oh my God, I, we got to get that thing away from him, you know. But you know, Alan, Ronnie was all pissed off at Alan <laughs> and pissed off at Gary. Both of them were kind of out of control, wrecking cars, and you know, Alan tried to jump that bridge with the Jeep that one time and ended up on its nose and lost control and ended up in the in the woods and we had to cancel that tour because he you know he, he busted the sockets in his eyes and yeah steve reynolds was uh showed us that bridge where that happened um yeah, yeah that, he was he was just he was you know, he was always crazy but you know yeah go check out i think it was part two of the steve reynolds interview that i did on the road and he shows that bridge you guys you know you have to go back and binge wash for that so Okay, moving right along, and uh, yes, uh, this guy says that I was right about Ronnie watching a boxing match. Of course, you just heard that from uh, Gene Odom. Uh, he confirmed that that was, yeah, that was uh, Ronnie watching the boxing match, and it was Cassius Clay, who was uh, one of Ronnie's favorites. Um, oh, Craig, those, uh, what was the name of those beads that we were wearing yesterday? Kukui Nuts. Cuckooey nuts. Yeah, this yeah. guy here says, Craig, are those really anal beads? <laughs> Don't give him any ideas. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh yeah, this guy uh here, Chuck Smith, he was we were talking about uh what was some of my uh favorite things that I did when I worked for NASA, and he says that he was on a plane one time and they were flying over near the uh kennedy space center and he got to see a space shuttle launch from from uh up in an airplane a commercial flight which um i've talked to a couple people that have been able to do that and i do know some friends of mine that actually had uh, their pilot's license and they would go up and actually i mean i don't know how close you couldn't get too close to that airspace because they didn't want anybody interfering with the launch, but that, that, uh, I have seen, uh, videos of that. So that is pretty cool. And yeah, that was a great, I great, I, uh, a great uh, thing to be able to see. Uh, let me see here. Uh, this person says it was hard to listen to the, uh, Mike O'Hare interviews about the plane crash survivors. And it's, uh, and it's sad knowing how they're all suffering in pain. And yeah, that's why we're, we're doing this, you know, we're trying to help them out, um, which, uh, you know, you guys subscribing and, uh, the monetization that we get for this. So the more subscribers we get, the more money they get. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please do that. Um, because that helps, that helps us out. Oh, Hey, Denise Suarez, uh, got, uh, got a donation from her. Thank you, Denise. That's very nice. Yeah. She you. got, she wants a sticker, you know, so, uh, okay. yeah, she, uh, 25 cool. bucks. So that's yeah, Craig will get that right out next a, year. A donation. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm gonna <laughs> get them stickers out to everybody here next week. Uh, I've been tied up with all these, uh, this, uh, giveaway thing, but now that we got, uh, 
uh, 130, uh, you know, we got them all listed. You know, we got, we got a, you know, we're going to start doing these giveaways and you're just keep your number. That'll be your number. So, uh, so there you go. And then this person says, uh, we were talking about Ronnie's hats and I think I mentioned that, you know, Ronnie needed that hat because it looked like, and you said he was kind of losing his hair, kind of like me, you know? <laughs> um, and uh, he, he, uh, he says that, uh, Ronnie or Donnie, Donnie doesn't have a lot of hair and Ronnie, uh, was starting to get fat like Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and if uh, you know and he says he says if you don't believe it ask craig uh -oh. <laughs> yeah that that liquor will put it on you man that that's you know that jack yeah, that that's a lot of sugar in that so i remember uh gene telling me a story about ronnie he said hey ronnie you're starting to get fat you need to bump up to another pant size and and gene said no nah, i'm gonna train it to hang over and he says it, he says it, uh, it all turns to, uh, to penis at midnight. And that what he yeah. said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, Ronnie was a character, man. I guarantee you that guy being around that guy, <clears throat> probably, him and Gene had the same kind of sense of humor. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Craig, you need to stick to guessing about Skinner instead of wearing a tinfoil hat. And, uh, both, both sides are, are corrupt as far as Republicans and Democrats. And then he says, keep up the good work. <laughs> Just a little, That's what I've been saying. Both of them are corrupt. Yeah. They both are, you know, I mean, yeah, uh, and, it's not you know, the government we got to worry about. There's only a thousand of them or so, or whatever, under a thousand. We got millions of people that are stupid. Yeah, it's the brainwashed <laughs> yeah, people. A thousand people telling millions of people what to do. Y'all are stupid. That's the problem. I remember one time there there was a hurricane coming and everybody was 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 hauling ass up to the north end of Florida. And and I said, Well, I'm gonna go south, you know. And so I went south because I knew the hurricane wasn't gonna hit. And so I gambled and went south and sure enough, there was a uh, almost free hotel rooms down there. They were giving rooms away and, and I went down there and everybody was gone and the hurricane never hit. And so sometimes if you do the opposite of what they tell you, you come out ahead. <clears throat> so, uh, and then we got, um, wheelchair Chuck. Oh yeah. He, yeah. I talked to him yesterday. He, yeah, are you going to talk about his challenge? Yeah, he says he is. Yeah, it's he's on. ready. Yeah, he's got yeah. the course laid out in in in, in Indiana. Yeah, yeah, he said so, he's ready to do a wheel off because Craig says he can he can do a better wheelie than anybody in a wheelchair. So wheelchair <laughs> Chuck and wheelchair Chuck said that he got. I guess the reason he's in a wheelchair is uh, he got in a motorcycle accident in uh, Virginia in the mountains. And he said he'll race you too, not just a, a wheel off. He'll race. Oh you. yeah. Yeah. We need to get an obstacle course. That's what we need. A wheelchair obstacle course. Yeah. You know yeah. what? That's an on the road with Griff Martin right he's, there. Yeah. He, he was telling me about his wife. Uh, and I, I told him, I said, well, heck I need to add her to her to the, uh, to the drawing he goes and he said yeah you come up to see us she'll she'll pour you doubles <laughs> how far is indiana from where you live craig you think oh uh, well uh, indiana is just the next state over ohio indiana illinois yeah yeah so that's not that far and no, i'll come up there and uh, videotape it's, it. it's straight over it's not too bad but you know if it's he said you could even stay with him if you want yeah he might put something in your drink and make you all sluggish and everything. <laughs> oh, he sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, okay. Wheelchair <laughs> Chuck. It's on, man. It's on. <laughs> and this uh, guy, Bob says, Craig, do you remember Pat Polson for president? Why don't we come up with a, a sticker says the stoned roadie for president? <laughs> oh yeah. Right. <laughs> I remember the one Pat Paulson for president. Yeah. I'm yeah, that old man. Yeah. 
I'm you'd old. have to be you would have to be old to remember Pat Paulson. Cause, I mean, I remember Pat Paulson. I think I was in like probably elementary or junior high when that Pat Paulson for president. He was kind of like a stoner, somewhat. I don't even know <laughs> what what he was. Was he a comedian or something? God, I just remember the name Pat Paulson. God, I don't know. Yeah, Pat Paulson. I, somebody look him up and put in the comments who the heck was Pat Paulson. I, I remember the name, but I don't remember <clears> uh, who he was. I don't know what he why he became famous. You know? And then this person asked Craig before the Survivors tour, <coughs> did you help Steve um, move in his new home, the one he never got to live in? Steve Gaines. No, you, you, no, no he didn't help him move. No, 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 uh, not that I no, uh, -uh. that no. might have been Joe Crimp because uh, I know Joe Crimp uh, was around him, his brother Bob Gaines quite a bit. So that's a that's a question for Joe Crimp. Then uh, I think I mean some of these questions I know, but uh, was Big Lou with the early band or just the tribute band? Just the tribute band. Yeah, we saw Big Yeah, he Lou. was our friend. He he was he was real close with everybody, especially Gary. The big Lou was a big time fisherman, man. He you know, he would always bring around um, all kind of different fish and he him and Gary used to fish all the time and and uh yeah, they were good friends. Yeah, he was at the Whitey's when we did um the Gary's, uh, celebration of life at Whitey's. He was down there and had his daughters with him. And, um, nice guy, Craig, you took, I, I got a picture of you and big Lou in my phone. Yeah. 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 Me and, me and big yeah. Lou were close. Yeah. Yeah. He's a nice even, guy. Yeah. Even in, even in the, the, in the original band, I knew Lou. Yeah. Wasn't just in Ross and Collins. Huh? Then this person asked, "How is Savannah doing <coughs> after her uh, foot surgery?" She's um, still healing up from the first one. I think she's not going to get the second one done till like this week or next week. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a pretty big deal that surgery. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think she's uh, she's probably still going through that. But once she gets it done, she'll probably be raring I to go. I guess she's going back to six gun. I guess uh, she's decided to go back to six gun and, and the, the, uh, she's not going to have to go down to, to Virginia every, every week, you know, and, and re rehearse like before. Yeah. You know? Oh hmm. yeah. But, uh, yeah, because of her, you know, her just trying to get, it's not going to be that convenient for, you know, get both. Yeah, a lot of broken lot like of that. It's going to take, it, it's going to take her, you know, a while before she's up on stage bouncing around. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize that she was in a pretty a significant amount of pain when she was up, up on stage. So, um, I Kathy, imagine she, Kathy T Keeble told me that. I imagine she's got a lot of time to sit around and practice those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, she, she's, and, uh, then we got, um, this last question, and then we'll get right to the drawing. And this is coming from Jesus for survivors. Um, he says, was Alan capable of playing guitar after the auto accident that he was in? You know, uh, I asked Chad about that and Chad, Chad said he, uh, big, uh, Gene Odom was over at Alan's one time and, and, uh, and, 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 and Chad, thought he heard there's something or something and, and he, he walked in and, and and alan was playing and uh and uh as soon as alan seen chad but i could hear him he threw the phone down or the guitar down and got kind of pissed off that chad you know was, was could hear him and yeah he, he said he said he could play but he couldn't he couldn't really play leads like he could you know he could he could strum around and stuff, but he, you know, he yeah. couldn't play like before. So as far as Alan was concerned, he, he was, you know, Chad <laughs> told me that he kind of got want anybody on to him. hear him, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Chad told me that he kind of got on to him. He said, Hey, you, you, you act like you can't play and you can still play. And he said, shut up, man. I, I ain't getting up there on stage playing with no wheelchair. So, you know, he didn't, 
you know, I'm sure he probably yeah, messed around. Yeah, he a would, bit. Alan wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't. Then uh, the last question is Dale aware of the remake? Is uh, Dale Krantz, Colin, or uh, Rossington, Dale Krantz, Rossington, aware of the remake of Getaway? If so, what is her reaction? And uh, I have no idea what her reaction is, but she's had to, somebody has had to. Oh, yeah. Somebody has had to have, uh, you know. It's a it. very good remake. And I don't, and, it, yeah. I don't know what her reaction would be because personally, I like the original version better. Personally, um, not 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 saying anything about it, about the the remake was really really good, but I I I'd still like the original version better. Dave, Dale's got a lot of feel in her voice, and there's there's some other things that were changed a little bit, you know. But you know, Sada's yeah, good, it's... but you know, you know, Dave, you know, she's only seventeen, eight, 18 years old. You know, I mean. Dale's got a lot of soul in her voice and stuff. She's got a lot of, a lot yeah, of years she, on her. She definitely uh, owns that song. She does. She owns it. But it is a, definitely a great remake. So, and uh, yeah, and any, Sada. Any, any copy is a is a tribute to you. You know, I mean, if somebody's copying you, it's a you know, there's their imitation is the best flattery the there is. You know, the uh, best compliment there is. You know, any kind of imitation to try to imitate something is the best compliment you could give anybody you know that's, yeah she, I think and, that's uh, the way this thing goes i i just uh i got to see the whole thing being made i was in the studio when they did it um i've got video footage of it i you know i um was around there i get to see barry lee playing and um so i'm i'm really partial to to that because it, it was really a great time and me and automotive were there yeah we really enjoyed that whole time so oh, that uh, would that would have been a great thing you know and they they did do different stuff and they did great stuff but you know if, if i was a judge you know to, to to judge it fairly i'd have to still vote oh my, yeah vote my <laughs> You know, to say then all of them did really good. You know, even even my God, even even Savannah played on the damn thing, and yeah. she did great, man. Yeah. I mean, God, she's only been playing it. That blows my mind, man. Yeah, you guys go on iTunes, you know, and check that out. Get away by the uh, by uh, Six Guns. Um, they did a great job, and judge for yourself and leave in the comments. And let's, you know, let's get a little uh, conversation. Let's get a thread going on it. So with that being what, said, what Craig, a, let's. Yeah, well, what a feather in your cap for Savannah to have that in your resume. Yeah, oh, yeah. When you're still in high school to, to play on an album with Barry. Right. Yeah, Derek, Barry Lee and Derek Hess. And, you know, on a tribute to um, Getaway. I mean, and she did a great job. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a definitely awesome job all right craig get that jar man let's do it all righty then yeah oh boy Ugh. so here we go you can see there's nothing <laughs> taped to the bottom and <laughs> they're all re moving around in there <laughs> freely and uh i don't know how i'm supposed to do this i've been you know every time i move this up and down like that we're gonna it changes the winner theoretically <laughs> theoretically oh you were gonna win on that one no 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 there you go here you come no 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 we're gonna move to the next one out 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 no oh my god you won that one but now you lost oh my god here we go oh my god oh the, oh there i'm sorry I, you should have won but you didn't oh my god looky here looky here who's gonna win this one we gotta mix them all up you know and am i gonna reach in there and grab them i guess i'll i don't want i don't want you make to sure you don't hand. get two yeah I, well i want you to see my hands the whole time and i'm gonna look away <laughs> So I can't see which, which one I'm digging for. And uh, oh, there it is. And I'm going to pull my hand out of there. 
Oh, oh, I gotta set this thing down here. It's in my hand here. I don't want you to think I moved it. Who's the, where's the winner? Oh, it's 707 079. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Two away from 77. Remember that? And you're not going to, oh, 79. Yeah, 79. Yeah. 70, I know, 77. Yeah, that was the. Two away. We were two away. Yeah, that you were was talking the, about that. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the year of the plane crash, 77. Yeah. Yeah. And so wonder I, what I, happened I, in 79. I, 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 I assumed everybody realized that was what I was meaning by a lucky number. And let's see who 77 is. Oh, Sandy Smith. Well, that's hey, not a friend that we all know well. That, that's uh -uh. fair. A.K.A. Chuck Smith. I don't know. <laughs> Chuck Smith? Yeah, at Chuck Smith. Yeah, it said Sand. I got it in my notes here. Apparently, I don't know. I usually gave them, if they were married, I'd give them both. Oh, him and his wife both numbers, but it says Sandy Smith, aka Chuck Smith. You know, Chad, Sandy's the name can be either a guy or a guy's a girl's name, so I don't know. Yeah, let's not get into the gender thing. <laughs> no, but I've known guys who are named Sandy. Could be a, a they them thing, you mean? No, no, I've known guys <laughs> named Sandy. You know. Or Pat. <laughs> Yeah, well, Ch Sandy Smith or Chuck Smith, you won that, and 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 Griffith and I were talking before. We're gonna we're gonna start giving a, this whole springtime. We're gonna we're gonna every Friday we're gonna we're gonna give something away. We're gonna have a since we got all these numbers and stuff. Every Friday we'll we'll pull a number out of the out of the hat and. Uh, for the for the for the rest of the spring, which will be the first day of summer is about June twenty first, so it'll be one another uh, May June about another six seven weeks, you know, we'll, won't it be? Yeah, yeah. the, the like spring that. We'll fling. Have, yeah, the spring fling. Yeah, we're gonna have a giveaway all the rest of the spring, and then I and then we were talking about what we were gonna give away, and I goes well. We could do something like we could give away one, just give away a one of them twenty five dollars stickers, you know, and then uh, and then uh, we we talked about adding a, a special bonus gift to the to this uh, to this uh, give this particular giveaway too, and we 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 kind of joked because I said I had a bunch of those bicentennial fifty cent pieces that were on the plane that I hadn't done anything with. I, I got quite a few of those, you know, Which I was, a letter of authenticity. Yeah. Was I was, with. cause I was co collecting those along with the silver dollars. And I, I just started selling those silver dollars on eBay that, you know, were on the airplane crash and saying they were lucky silver dollars. And I, and, um, uh, they were, they, you know, people ate those up. So, that um there ain't that i even nobody's ever gotten any of these uh 50 cent pieces so uh, uh so yeah so um on this giveaway here i'm gonna give uh, give away one of those 50 cent pieces that were on the airplane along with a you know certificate of authenticity that you know it was on the on the airplane and you get you got fifty cents from the Stone Roadie and then the Stone on yeah, the Stone Roadie show, you know. That's a great and, value. Yeah. yeah, great value. On the plane crash, yeah, that that's a real novelty, <laughs> and I'll I'll make I sign make sure I sign it real pretty for you, so you can hang it up on your wall and show it to all your friends and neighbors and tell them to subscribe to the Stone Roadie, and they go, well, who's the Stone Roadie? Why he's the most famous road stone roadie in the whole wide world that ever existed in the dawn of time since the 
since the dinosaurs is still alive <laughs> anyways <laughs> don't call him a tech just don't call him <laughs> don't, a tech. don't call me a tech yeah <laughs> <laughs> so then so then with the so then <clears throat> there we go with that so then we said well heck We'll just next this next giveaway here. We'll just we'll just do do give away like a sticker, and then we'll, we'll we're gonna give we're gonna give one give away one of those uh, fifty cent pieces for for the whole spring here. We're gonna wow, give away that, a, you a, can't a beat that. Piece. So yeah, every Friday you're gonna get a little a little sticker or a, a kazoo or. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, and I'll I'll try to keep Craig away from the neighbor's house. Any know, any of the, the the stuff that we gave away before, mm -hmm. we'll like next week maybe we'll give away a a, a painting, uh, the Hell House thing, and, and a fifty cent piece, and then we'll give away uh, uh, one of those uh, the Fox Theater things and a fifty cent piece, you know, but. Uh, yeah, just to have one of them 50 cent pieces would be a real novelty. And then we'll throw one of the other things that we had in the main drawing on this one in. Uh, so you'll get one of those too there, uh, Chuck Smith. Get you a 50 cent piece from the Stone Roadie. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, uh, I tell you what, you can't beat that. Go find another podcast where they're doing that, right? <laughs> giving stuff away yeah yeah we're not just asking for donations like like we you know people say we were we're we're actually giving some stuff away too but yeah you know griff did you hear about them i asked you about it and you said yeah you heard that over there in dubai oh they yeah had like six inches of rain and they there was camels floating down the road <laughs> yeah there's camels and, in the yeah and the the program I saw that there was that guy said there was they, they tracked it on Roy Sonar the planes that did it that that seeded cloud it, seeding the, the yep. cloud seeding and they they caused that by cloud seeding what the what the heck man that's crazy yeah it was a massive flood massive and they they were going man if you live in an area in the, in the united states that just hits that just gets hit with some just bizarre weather because of this contact your insurance company man this is the fault of the government this is this is uh crazy man yeah. what they're doing yeah yeah crazy yeah. times yeah and there's a there's and there was another program about all the the uh, <laughs> aluminum that's in everything and it's oh, even, yeah it's, it's even in the alps up in the you know it's uh there's a graphite magnesium everywhere. aluminum and and i'm they're showing metal shards and the baby oatmeal these freaking people are going crazy man you know <laughs> wake up wake up yeah they're not yeah you know what uh, they don't they're they're just acting so bizarre and they don't even care i i don't i think they they they've got it planned so there's there's not going to be an election and they and they yeah. they realize that and they're just they're nuts man they're just it, they're, and, and they're, craig if you if they don't believe us just go down the cereal aisle and pull any box of cereal and start looking and they and most of them have bioengineered uh cereal that's bioengineered and it's like yeah, it's, it's, it's like I, I said last week is you know every just look at all the all the empires that have controlled things for a couple of centuries and uh, and then collapsed and and that's about what to happen to the u.s and, and they said it, it's all lining up just like rome and greece and all of them collapsed the same way it's it's just all you know, it's well, all Craig. Why, why did it happen? To, why did it have to happen when you and I retired? You know? <laughs> yeah, we why couldn't that wait till we, we saw died? The good, we saw the good times, but get, I, you know, God, I got good genes in, in me, man. I'm gonna live another 20 years. I know I, this yeah. is, I mean, God, I'm a you know, I retired, God, 17 years ago, and and here I'm going to be tortured the rest of my life, you know. Yeah, with, that's with taxes and 
I mean, uh, why didn't we lady. have to live in our in our golden years through Armageddon? I mean, you know, oh it's my like, God! And these kids are crazy. They're teaching them. They're teaching them how to be idiots. And the colonel <laughs> and the and the colonel and the military is wearing a dress. Oh, that's what they were saying. That the only thing different with all the other the empires that collapsed, the generals weren't wearing dresses. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all are nuts! Yeah, 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 yeah y'all are nuts for letting this happen, man. It's, I don't see any carvings in the in the um like in the caves where they had uh <laughs> they had people with man buns and things. You know, it's like there's some crazy stuff going on now. Uh, you know, it's like when it, when I go to sleep at night, I I go to sleep to get out of the nightmare. You know, uh, when I wake up, I'm in it. <laughs> They're like sheep just walking over the cliff, man, just following. Oh, yeah. God, it's, a, it's bizarre. Sometimes sheep. I wish I was a sheep so I didn't have to know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a bitch when you can see it coming. Yeah, don't dye your hair purple or green because it, it just looks like you don't know what's going on, you know. Oh, I was somewhere yesterday and this fat woman got out of the car and she had this little fat boy with green hair. <laughs> My God. I wanna <laughs> When I what if when I was a kid, if you showed up with green hair, they'd send you <laughs> home. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, they would. You're, you're I remember trying, a kid came to school with a mohawk. You're starving for attention. You're freaking starving for attention. You know what else you want? You got green hair. You're starving for attention. My yeah, God. That's a, well, you know, maybe we're just square, Craig. We just could be square. It's a freak <laughs> show. The whole world's a freak show. My God. We're you under the big it. top. That's because you're one of them. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you go to the circus, you know, there might be normal people at the circus everywhere else. It's a freak show. Oh my God. <laughs> that one picture of that guy was used to be the fattest guy in the world. He weighs about 300 pounds. My God, you can go to Walmart. And <laughs> There's at least three or four of them down there. You got him beat. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're not making fun of anybody or anything. dressed up like that and, and they're dressed up like a woman <laughs> oh, it's definitely and think it's, they're sexy <laughs> these and, guys turn 65 years old and and they dress up like a woman and think they're and sexy. can you imagine that your son comes home from school and he goes daddy daddy i want to be a woman i want to be a woman when i grow up <laughs> can i have some hormone therapy women have a hard time looking 60 at 65 god damn <laughs> men turn 65 and think they look sexy as a woman they're, they're you know, yeah, it's it's mental illness, man. And every time I see that <laughs> colonel, you know, like they're doing, actually doing a uh, Congress is actually <coughs> has that colonel. I don't even know what its name is, and and, and I'm, I'm actually looking at him having a serious conversation with this military colonel in a dress. <laughs> yeah, you know, like you know, and people are like, oh yeah, you know, it's like. These people from these other countries, I don't see that going on in these other countries. They're standing in Congress saying that men can have babies. These people are out of their minds. <laughs> Good God. Uh, oh, yeah. Man, a man can have a baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. don't think so, you're, you're, something wrong with you. <laughs> Woo. All right, Craig, we better sign off. You, you know, <laughs> who was the name of the winner again? Oh, God almighty knows, man. That, that you're, 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 you know, you you think I'm going to a damn analyst here, see if I can remember, but it's, it's, uh, Smith. Was it Stacy Smith? You know what? You had Never me reading 77. You, you told me about 77. <laughs> And that was Sandy Smith, A.K. Chuck Smith, but seventy nine's the winner. Uh oh, there's two people gonna have to win now, Craig. 
Seventy-nine. You can't. You can't, you can't do that. <laughs> Mike Stoling, he's pissed <laughs> off, man. He's going. God damn it! That's me. Only on the Stoned Roadie Show. <laughs> Mike Stoling, yeah, yeah. Mike Stoling, you're the well, winner. Craig, you but, can't. You but, can't. But you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we got to yeah. give it. We got it. We got to give give it to them both. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that, well. That might have been planned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. never know what's gonna happen on the Stone Roadie Show, you know. Yeah, yeah. You think yeah, it's yeah. a one? You think it's a one giveaway, but it's a two. Oh well, giveaway. yeah, I got stoned, you know. So, uh, <laughs> you well, know. congratulations to uh -huh. uh, to both the uh, winners, right, Craig? <laughs> and yeah, I do. I, I have two stickers too, just like this. So we'll uh, we'll make sure they both get a nice package. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two winners, boy. Yeah, what a two. surprise! Two, two winners and one. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the Stone Roadie <laughs> Show with your host, the world's most famous roadie, Craig Reed, aka the Stone Roadie, and Griff Martin, the <laughs> rocket scientist. And then till Monday, no, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah tomorrow. Saturday night special. With Kathy Godsey. It'll be me and Kathy Godsey on the Saturday night special. Tomorrow night on the Stone Roadie Show. Until then, we're out of here. See you later, alligator at the Wild Crocodile. And there you go. That's another Stone Roadie Show. Cut. See you later, alligator. Have your wild crocodile. See you later, alligator. Have your wild crocodile. Craig and Griff will see you next time. Stone Roadie Show, and it's time to wake and bake with Craig Reed and Griff Martin.